Heading up towards the jungle. Oh, we're in the, uh, we're on the section known colloquially as the jungle. We're in two guys on KTM 500s and one dude on a Pan America coming down here. And the last guy warned me about a section of like two foot deep silt between uh, Ellensburg and Kashmir, so something to consider. He's, bike's hot already though. <laughs> yeah. Oh god, what was it called? That like old town or whatever. Um, Ruby. The Ruby town site climb was by far harder coming down for sure. That was like steps almost going up, so. Oh, don't hit the tree. Yeah, it's real sandy here, my god. Try to get it in second so I can just tractor it, but it's kind of hard to keep momentum. Ooh, yeah. Let's stand up for a bit and see if that affords us some better luck. better now. Big cut on my arm from that tree. It sucks. I thought that branch would break. It most certainly did not. All right, we're loose in the middle. I'm swap sides real quick. Whew. Just the deceleration there was enough to slide the tire, the front one anyways. Here we go. Up, 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 and away. Trees. That is not good for the soft front tire. I'm gonna try and hop this. Woo. Oh, that is just pure silt in there. God damn, this is a terrible side. It's not really sand almost, it's just that. Yeah, it is more sand than anything, but it's pretty. Got that feel of silt kind of stuff in it. Yeah, this would. Definitely a fun climb. Ooh, don't hit that giant rock. Oh, you hit it anyways with the rear tire, though, just. Which is the one I'm trying to keep safe, but I think that's kind of off the table now. I meant to turn this thing off, but I can't really reach up and do it right now, so it's going to be longer. The full pull, maybe, of uh, the jungle. Whew. Oh, don't slide that. Say like two-thirds of the way up or so. And kind of see where we've been driving in the switchbacks and stuff. Tough to see how steep this uh, hill is, but pretty crazy. We started way the heck. To, actually, you could see the the switchback coming up right down there. Wow, pretty good views up here, my friends. Pretty good views. Beauty, beauty, beauty. We got uh, three switchbacks to go, and then we're up. Yeehaw! Well, we made it. That was uh, there's some pretty gnarly sections there especially on this side, and I was kind of trapped in that line. I gotta let the bike cool down a bit here. It was getting pretty toasty coming up there. <laughs> 29, oh, it's actually dropped a bunch. You know what, altitude is good for the heat. Hell yeah. Oh, that breeze feels real good. I think the bike's enjoying it too. All right. So, when you watch the BDR film, the jungle is like a proper grown-in jungle and I'm guessing that burned because I haven't really encountered any of that at all. That's the uh, the reality of our outdoor spaces is, is uh, you know, nature and humans tend to change them. So it's important to get out and do these things when you have the opportunities to do them, you know. I, I, I chose to come see two states I never would otherwise really have visited, especially these parts of them you know you don't need 20 days like i'm doing here to do two bdrs five six days and get this one done we're two days in i'm going to be midway into the third section uh, there's only six of them and yesterday we drove all the way from vancouver island that is pretty pretty nice this is just something else it's so beautiful and just tranquil here but there's a pretty nasty exposure not that like you, I wouldn't die but my bike would be hard to get oh that's just freaking beautiful
damn, what a valley. We've completely left uh, Chalin behind. Wow, wow, wow. My bike got really hot coming up there though, so that's, uh, holy, look at this one. Woo wee. That's a gnarly looking road. All right, so either I'm completely unable to visually locate what a campground looks like or that thing doesn't exist where they say it does. But Windy Point Campground, non-existent. Anyways, looks like we're going uh, a little bit further today. Two for two days, our actual planned campsite was either inaccessible or non-existent, which is uh, great. Wow. That is beautiful. Yeah, we are uh, kind of hooped for campgrounds by the looks of it. I'm going to try to make it to Ardivore, I guess. Beautiful, beautiful terrain. Gone through a lot of different terrain today, that's for damn sure. Well, our quest for a campsite continues. Move closer to getting in. I keep looking, I'm looking at the map for sites, and like it's just no camping along this trail at all. Uh, no like established campsite. So we were just in Ardenvor, I think it's called at the end of, uh, kind of a midpoint of section three. Um, we got about half a tank of fuel left. I mean, I don't know what we're gonna do if we can't get gas there tomorrow. Hopefully this campground actually exists. Oh good, it's a national forest one. Good. Welcome to camp. We finally found a place. Lone, sorry, what is it? Pine Flat Campground. I had to remember that name. Uh, apparently I've been mispronouncing like every single town name I've passed through today. I just talked to somebody at the campground here that was telling me that it's Conconully and uh, Chelan Lake. So apologies to those of you that know these places. And, just cringing for the first uh, half of this video. But anyways, we finally found a campground. This is one in a national forest, I believe. Some of the nicest roads I've ever ridden on today, for sure. Um, awesome, it's just sand double tracks, you know, regular roads and then more sand double track. And yeah, it was really cool. I've, I don't think I've ridden this much sand top road in ever, really. It's not proper sand sand, it's not deep. I think after today I've got the feel for it, 100%, so banned for campfires at this site so it's gonna be a headlamp kind of night just hanging out drinking beers listening to music we'll see you then so we appear to have picked up a hitchhiker overnight this really cute little field mouse made it into my tank bag <laughs> you have to get him out of here come on buddy this is obviously a sheep tonight come on come on out of there come on you don't want to come on this it's gonna be loud Come on. There you go. Good job, buddy. Woo! -hoo -hoo. <laughs> All right. Good morning, friends. Just heading back into Ardenvor for uh, fuel and some water and stuff like that. Got an allergic reaction to something uh, yesterday or what? But uh, maybe a plant or something around here that I wasn't aware I was allergic to. Anyways, yeah, my eyes were, like, puffy AF. Yeah, like, it's a nice campsite there. It's just off of the, uh, the BDR here, outside Ardenvor, Pine Flat. Here we are at, uh, Cooper's General Store in Ardenvor. They don't actually open till 11, but there was, uh, an awesome lady here that, uh, turned the pump on for me and took my payment. So there's the town of Ardenvor down there. And again, super awesome people at the Cooper's uh, Country Store, their general store or whatever. Really helped me out big time. I think I would have had fuel, but you know, it's better safe than sorry. Not, uh, not so steep here, but yeah, there's a lot of switchbacks, that initial little climb out there. It's not, nothing to be worried about, but just good elevation. It's awesome, great views. Oh, look, a deer. Move out of the way, deer. Come on. 
There you go. Oh, there's two of them. Cool. This is fun. Nice wood tracks. Really nice base too on the uh, on the road. It's like a dirty sand kind of thing, but oh, I spoke too soon. Now we're hitting the rocks. Great views every now and again too. Damn, look at that. What a valley. Super windy up here. Quite the power line cut they've run though. Neat little road. That uh, that Roaring Ridge and Bow Ridge roads are awesome. They really, really are cool. Oh, our daily ritual. Putting air in the front tire. Trying to figure out where that leak is to do something about it. But to be very fair. There are certainly worse places to be adding air to a tire. There's like a private campground up here and all sorts of like cabins and stuff. Great view, but this place has got to be windy. That's a super neat mountain over there. Yeah, this road's uh, interesting here. It's kind of very much a secondary Kind of a neat, neat little road. It's like a little racetrack down here. I want to go faster, but every time I do, I end up whacking a rock really badly. I'm kind of nervous about that front tire. Oh yeah, there you go. <laughs> Probably gonna sound way worse than it was. Uh, yeah. This section's got some interesting rock features. <laughs> Again, they're very short. It's like, you know, 10 feet or something, but it's, uh, it's, at least in the uphill side, it's basically the entire road is rocks and sharp ones at that. This whole area is just, if I was running tubes, I'd be ultra paranoid, like ultra, ultra, ultra paranoid for pitch flats. Okay, pinch flat alley. We're coming to the summit of Chumstick Mountain, it's called. <laughs> Interesting name for a place. Wow. Oh, this looks like a fun little, fun little climb here. Do we go up? I don't see why not. I see why not. <laughs> this is going to be an interesting ass descent, I'll tell you that much. Oh, the BDR comes right here. <laughs> there's, there's like a super nice road. We just climb this freaking gnarly ass thing. <laughs> oh, go figure. All right, I gotta grab a little picture here. Found some sand. Also, uh, just passed three guys on some dual sports. DRZ, it looked like a CRF 3 or 250 or whatever it is. And they were saying that uh, Mission Ridge is all open, but there is a closed section down by Ellensburg. I'm guessing we're going this way. This is pretty decent sand in here. I almost lost it on a corner back there, but... Oh. This. Yeah, this is the road. All right. I came around one of these corners. I was on the right side, just a little bit more towards center line. Just giant backlogging truck right in my face. I had the bike completely sideways trying to get it stopped. It did, I just managed to pull into the side. <laughs> the guy pulls his window down, he's just like, holy man, that was scary. And I was just like, yeah, that was crazy. I think I shit my pants. He, was, he had a good laugh at it too. We were both having a pretty good chuckle. Uh, that was about the closest I've come to being bug spatter. That was an ass pucker right there. Change the boxer shorts kind of moment. I was so sideways. It was <laughs> full lock on the rear brake. Aimed her into the wall just to try and get out of his way. <laughs> but he thought it was the funniest thing in the world, so I'm happy. Oh, this is nice area. Cool little road. 
I've just been coasting. I've, I've, I've had the bike in neutral since I got off the gravel. Do a bit of pump in here. Let's go. Our fuel range is going to be absurd here. <laughs> Let's see what the computer calculates. Greatest place for a neutral race. There is some tight corners that you need to actually break for. But future neutral racers, this is the spot. It's, um, yeah, we're here and uh, they're putting a new tire on. They had like a huge amount of tires for the KTM big bikes. Uh, we're gone with the RAL Z. Um, she got a little bit more longevity than the than the Desert HT did. I really enjoyed the Desert HT and it had so much life left in it. It just pisses me off that we couldn't uh, continue running. But anyways, yeah, these guys were able to get a rate in, get new tires on, or a new tire. And we'll continue on back up to Kashmir, southbound on section three, and we got a fire to dodge set. All right, welcome back, friends. We are now in Kashmir. We had to make a quick stop into Wenatchee to get a new tire for the bike. And uh, probably for the best, actually, because uh, we're going to have to do a bunch of highway stuff. There is a massive fire just uh, in, like, Babyhead Hill area. We can't take the BDR through there, which really sucks. Now, I'm hoping I'm going to be able to go up Highway 12 tomorrow to Hanging Tree Campsite and enter it there. Wow, this place is unreal. The coolest forest ever. Crazy ruts though, we're just riding the side. But there are trails like everywhere. Oh, I've got to get out of there. The sand. This is really cool terrain. I'm going to have to break with safety here and go up the left side because that right one is just rutted out. This new tire seems to be working pretty good though. Oh yeah, that's sandy, all right. I'm gonna go center strip here, I think. Hopefully I don't bite me in the ass. Oh yeah, that's just straight sand. Oh, we're gonna go into the run. Holy shit. Yeah, that's a good one. Yeah, you don't wanna be going in those. to try and keep the rear wheel in line while still mo maintaining momentum because every time I break it loose on these off camber sections it wants to go in the middle <laughs> and the middle is not where we want to be get over there yeah I'm really oh gosh almost lost the front there all right just nice and easy. God, I hope I can get through this washout. I really don't want to be coming back down through this. That would be not pleasant. <sighs> Quite the climb, I must say. Well, I haven't looked at the map in a while. Hopefully I haven't missed a turn. Been kind of focused on getting up here. Ah, this is a good sign. Sorry, got music on. <laughs> okay, welcome back, folks. Well, that was unfortunate for that guy. He uh, burned his clutch out. Oh, that's so brutal. It's day, they're day one of the trip. Yeah, so anyways, there's that uh, big sand pit that everyone's been talking about. and uh, It's short, really short. But I took a look at it, and there was a slightly less disastrous looking bypass. There's a little bit of sand going in, a little little maneuvering to get onto it, but it was all, you know, it's, once you're on it, you're good to go, and then it dumps you out basically right at the end of the sand of the real deep stuff. Anyways, folks, welcome to Mission Ridge. Is this not like a magical forest or what? It's so green, so lush, the road is nice until I open my mouth and hit a pothole, but uh, yeah, otherwise just really, really beauty. Get up here. 
Anyways, this is uh, this trail is beautiful. I got to turn the camera on a little bit too late uh, due to you know doing the jumps and stuff. But uh, super super nice trail through here. Like yes please, yes please indeed. Wow. So dummy me forgot to hit the record button, but we just come through the washouts on Mission Ridge. Um, yeah, just hold your line, you're good. There's nothing, nothing too crazy about them. Um, but yeah, definitely uh, a, a departure from the uh, kind of more mellow terrain of the rest of this trail for sure. Uh, there might be a few more. I don't know. We'll see. Maybe I spoke too soon. I don't know. That's fine. Just some off camber stuff. Wow, I wonder what happened here. Is it just like crazy erosion or big slides or whatever? I don't know. I wouldn't uh, wouldn't worry too much about doing them. Like I literally just rolled them down in first and rolled it up in first. There, there is uh, there's nothing to it really. Just having the confidence and not overthinking it, I think, is the uh, the best bet you can do there. I was doing jumps off of these this morning, but I got beer in the back now, and I keep forgetting and I keep doing wheelies and stuff and just smashing it off my, my bath sack which I'm sure will do very well for the uh, foaminess of it tonight at camp. Some of you may be wondering, man how does this guy get anywhere? He goes so slow. I go slow when I'm filming so I don't have to shout over the wind noise and make the mic sound terrible. You'll notice in some of the other videos when I'm driving on the highway and recording or something like that, it uh gets all crackly and stuff. That's from the wind and the microphone and me yelling. It like peeks out the mic. So yes, when I'm not recording, we may go we go in slightly faster. I don't know. Yeah, it's like this guy's such a scrub, he's just making up making up stories for why he rides like such a baby. Well true. <laughs> but also I am of course riding more conservatively to begin with because I'm on my own out here. Woo! Nice care. <laughs> Give them the right of way through the sand there. Yeehaw. There's some rock steps. Nice. I can't believe they just had a car up here. <laughs> That's wild. All right, we'll see you at the bottom of this downhill because we all know how much I love these. We're riding with dirt bikers now. <laughs> First it was Harleys out of Vancouver. Now it's dirt bikers on Mission Ridge. <laughs> My first taste of dust all trip. Gotta be careful to make sure I'm picking my line and not just following theirs. Those things are slightly more capable. Anyways, yeah, Mission Ridge is super cool. Amazing views at the top. Took a couple pictures, cell phone video, but uh, yeah, it's uh, just need to come see it. That's it. Beautiful wood scene here. Now there's the bike. Oh, there's just a several thousand foot cliff. <laughs> Wowza. This is unbelievable through here. I keep turning the camera on a little late, but I think you can get the idea. Wow, 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 wow. Mission Ridge. What a beautiful spot. Nice tree shelf. But yeah, there's just like, if you wanted to come up and camp, do anything. There are so many spots here that are just absolute money. If I was with somebody else on the bikes, holy heck, would we ever be camping in some awesome places. Also, it's still pretty early. We went, I think we rode till like seven-ish last night. That was a long, long day yesterday. Pretty wild single track up in the mountains, man. That's like, I can do single track not well and certainly not up here. Like, that would be way, way, way above my threshold. Yeah, you see trails go right in there. So, single track riders, possibly watching, take note, Mission Ridge outside Wenatchee, or in between Wenatchee and Allensburg. Unbelievable. There's a trail right there. Like, look at that. Where would you go? Who knows? <laughs> Limitless exploration. I bet a lot of those go up to some, like, alpine uh, meadows and stuff like that. 
the road back there is gnarly in sections, real nice in others, just mixed bag. You know, very typical of the BDR in general. I think that's what I've been, the sentiment I've had all the, the, the trips so far is that uh, it, it keeps you on your toes. There are times when you can just relax and ride and chill, and then there's times where you gotta be a little bit more on your A-game. Certainly for me, a lot on my A-game, but uh, I am, I'm looking forward to the sense of accomplishment I get from completing this, you know, and doing it by myself. Yeah, look at that, just meadows of fireweed and stuff. Oh, geez, you gotta pay attention here. Probably don't wanna go down in there. You know, it makes you a better rider. It makes you, uh, I think, certainly feeling, you know, more self-reliant. Um, I did get a t uh, the shop to change the tire today, though, so I guess I guess we're not entirely self-reliant. There's nothing I could do about that. Nothing I could do about that. When you have like time to your to yourself like this, and you can work on your riding technique and stuff like that, like. I've just been trying to do the little things, squeeze the bike a bit more to give my hands a break, look through the tur the uh, corners a bit more to, you know, spot obstacles and, yeah, nice, it's really, really nice. Oh, this is a lovely hill of pinch flats. <laughs> it's just gnarly, the water right below this is all ruts, like entirely ruts. I really gotta tone her down here because I'm gonna wreck my rim if I whack anything too hard. My front tire is kind of low on air at the moment. Really do need to fill that up at the camp tonight. <laughs> this is ridiculous. <laughs> oh yeah, look at that. Oh, this. <laughs> if you have tubes, this section just must be butt pucker city. Good God. <laughs> yep. Ooh, yeah. <laughs> Get a little air off that one. Jeez. Jeez Louise, what is even this road? It's like a cobblestone road from hell. <laughs> Suspension's gonna be hot. Oh, the last like mile of the campground is gonna gotta be the hardest, right? Oh god, just end. <laughs> I feel like carrying a little speed allows me to float a little bit more. I'm probably entirely wrong and I'm just having too much fun to not, so. Whew. I love this type of riding man. High speed on like shitty rocks. That's like that's like my back home stuff. I'm in my element, finally. The BDR has delivered me. Oop, treat. Sorry, beer. I've got beer on the back that is just gonna be absolutely shaken. Get down a gear there, you goof. Uh, maybe not quite yet at the campground. Holy jumping. Yeah, this is... This is the thing. See, it's not so much fun coming down these because the frickin' front tire wants to go all over the place. Going up them is great. I'm in control of that one. <laughs> coming down, it's just like, ew. <laughs> Good God. That's pretty nice. Moving once again, take the hard or easy route, I don't know, whatever you want to call it. <laughs> More cobblestone, hill, rocks, but at least we're going up this time, which is what we like. Then stop to take a couple pictures at that overlook there, man. That is some beauty stuff right there, I tell you what. So I don't know if you guys can see this road, but it is like entirely ruts. <laughs> I'm just trying to stay in one of them. <laughs> Cattle guard. That was our first crowd of guard all day. No, I lied, we passed one this morning. Oh yeah, look, there's the fire right there, guys. You can see it. Yo, can do it. Oh yeah, we're so flat in the front now. That's gonna suck to come down, I tell you that one. Let's not hit that giant rock.
I know which way to go there. It's like, no, don't go straight. The only way you can't go. Yeah, these roads are redonk, man. Like, whoa, welcome back. Uh, made it camp, made it to uh, Lion Rock Spring Campground. Uh, we're up pretty high here, like 6,200 feet, I think. And you feel it. It is not particularly warm up here. Um, anyways, there's a campsite up the hill there. It's like a couple people there already. But I wandered up there and you can actually see the fire, which uh, will drastically alter our plans tomorrow. Uh, the north end of, of section two, we're not gonna be able to do at all. It's a bit of a bummer, to be very honest. Like, it really sucks. But, you know, it sucks more at being affected, you know, personally by the fires and stuff, so. All right, quick change of plans. We're no longer camping in the cold spot. We've moved to the top of the hill. Here, Here we are at the, the Stump Jumpers annual meetup campground. Alan has requested not to be on film. <laughs> I, I don't care. <laughs> I'm, but yeah. fam I'm famous in my own mind. There you go, exactly. Yeah. Well, I mean like all 100 people that will watch this, yeah. this video. But yeah, we were hanging out here last night. A nice propane fire, totally legal with the current fire situation. You can see smoke from Cow Canyon fire over there. Awesome hospitality. Had some sausage burgers last night. Great egg and potato breakfast this morning. And they're expecting a bunch of people to come here. And they're going to ride single track and do all sorts of cool stuff. But yeah, a little bit better than camping in the horrible cold valley that I was in initially last night. So a little bit of a late start today. Got on the beers. Little side fun on his BDR trip. 1022 Ruger. In a degree suppressed. Hearing safe. Hearing safe, absolutely. That all was right. illegal in Canada. <laughs> yeah, that is not legal in Canada. Yeah. All right. Perfect. Cool.